ceremony. It's so nice to see everybody here, and I think we're all really excited to celebrate these young people who've worked so hard for the last six, nine years, and, um, and hear what they have to say. I wanted to um, start by saying this year is actually kind of special for us at Child Peace because it's the 10th year of our elementary program, but it's actually the first year where our alumni are graduating from high school. So we have some, we have a couple guests that actually made it down here, took some time out of, um, they've graduated from high school and haven't gone out to, gone off to college yet. And I'd like to um, just acknowledge them. So I think Evan Gannicott, are you here? Where'd he go? Where's Evan? Where'd he go? with the alumni the last couple weeks. Evan, I think, is heading off to University of Puget Sound. He's a scholar athlete and plans to play football. So um, we're really excited. Thank you for making it here today. And we also have Robin Pritzker, who, who made it here. Hi, Robin. Robin just finished up at um, Lincoln High School with an inter- IB degree with a full international baccalaureate degree. She's a playwright who will have a play um, produced in Scotland this summer and is heading off to McGill University next year. So um, more to come as we hear from them through their college career. Um, we also had a handful of other um, high school graduates who couldn't make it here today for the ceremony, but you know I think they're, they're kind of worth mentioning. Um, we have Amanda Wells, who has spent a lot of time through her high school career um, doing a lot of volunteer work and really became passionate about her work with special education students. With, with special education students and is heading off to uh, Chico State University. Um, Asher Dennett, who, um, who kind of wowed me by saying he was heading off to um, Western Ontario to study optical biomedical engineering. I actually you know, had to Google what that was, so I thank him for, uh, for letting me know. Um, Jasmine Sola is finishing up at OES and is heading off to University of Wisconsin, Madison. Um, she did a lot with mock trial in the cross country team. Uh, let's see, and then Alyssa McPartland, who um, is heading off to Southern Oregon, is planning to study theater and art and has done a lot with um, you know, creating scenes and drama and lots of other creative pursuits. So it's been really exciting to hear from all of these students. And for you sixth years, I hope that you will all be back here in six years at a completion ceremony. I'd like to have more than two where we can um, have you stand up and acknowledge you and hear more about um, what adventures lie ahead. So, enough said, I'm going to turn it over to Sue Pritzker. Thanks. Well, welcome to Child Peace, and um, aren't you lucky to have it almost like be the first day of summer and it's not raining outside? Um, for me, I'm going to just have a, few, a very short um, comment because. We have um, so many young people that have um, a lot to to share with you today. First of all, I want to thank all of you parents, some of you um, who have been at Child Peace with your students from the time that they were 15 months old. (laughs) Um, That's a lot of hours of driving back and forth and walking in and out of this building and donating your time and your energy and your passion. So I would like us to start by giving a round of applause students to all of your parents. So I have known some of you since you were toddlers. Um, When I look at this slideshow, it reminds me that you all look pretty much like the same people that you were, both in your appearance and your personality, maybe not um, your size. Some of you, on the other hand, have just blessed us with your Um, presence for a few years. There are some people who have been here for just one year, but you have all left a great many memories for all of us. Your creativity and your humor, your energy have kept all of us on our toes. Your enterprising contributions to our larger community have reflected positively on you as individuals and on child peace as a community. And our good fortune is that we will not be saying goodbye to all of you. For those of you who will be students at Metro, we look forward to new adventures and new opportunities 
to see your maturity and your intellect unfold. And as you move into a period where you'll create your own social life and you'll prioritize what you have in common with your friends and classmates, we hope that you will remember how lucky you were to have known your child piece classmates and teachers so very well. Those relations, I guarantee, will carry you along unknown paths as you go on your way. The adults in your life send you off with great love and pride. So with these words, speak kindly, think boldly, act courageously, and live passionately. We thank you all for the presence of, uh, of yourselves over these last six, eight, or ten years. Thanks. Hi, welcome. This is a wonderful day in the lives of these young people. We are pleased to have reached this milestone with them, and they are definitely products of an inspirational educational model. Dr. Montessori is easily quotable, and insight can be gained from her larger texts as well as short anecdotes. She was prolific, and one of her most remembered was in 1939 when she wrote, Preventing conflicts is the work of politics. Establishing peace is the work of education. This is very enlightening for today. Unfortunately and inevitably, uh, every school year, significant conflict and disasters happen around the world. And our students routinely respond in earnest and beautiful ways. Their service projects this year had care for others near and far. Dr. Montessori pointed out that morality has a practical side that governs social relationships and a spiritual side that presides over the awakening of a child's conscience. For this group of 20, this is especially true. In a word, I would describe this group as Powerful. Some are powerful in spiritual ways. Others are demanding changes, positive changes in the world right now. They can be too <laughs> tough on themselves sometimes, this group. But their, their enthusiasm to understand more about the immediate and broader world of which they are a part has prepared them to create earnest responses. This is an amazing and fantastic day for all of you. It has come upon us quickly because we've all been working so diligently. This is also a great moment for your parents and for your families. We are proud to have worked with you over the years and watch each of you become positive, confident, and respectful individuals. In the large room, it was an era of Eleonora's leadership and poise in our class meetings. We watched Jack's confidence grow as he created friendships, played Mr. Wizard, and helped everyone. Taylor demonstrated persistence and drive, exemplified by her year-long commitment of work and giving a voice to all the elements of the periodic table. Karsten's strength and determination was evident every day, as was his kindness and his excellent singing voice. Alex developed his ability to make perceptive observations, and he became a leader. His cartography skills will be missed. Kate's poise and her attention to detail, especially when expressing her thoughts, is a skill we all admire. Leah's passion and her inner strength inspires us. She will climb mountains. Lily and her positive, sing it out loud personality has been wonderful. We will miss her energy every morning. And Mason's passion, his energetic nature, and his unending creativity will be missed by everyone in the large room. And we have a great deal to celebrate in the life and success of all of them. And in the Hawthorne room, Annie's leadership and wry sense of humor kept us all very much in line. Katie jumped right in and impressed us with her adaptability and willingness to tackle new challenges. I admire Peter's unique perspectives and expansive imagination. And when it comes to determination, Jessica cannot be outdone. Sophia's altruism and kindness was like a ray of light, as was Rowan's ability to make us all laugh. Jordan was a great role model with his initiative and drive, and Miranda's creativity and attention to detail was unparalleled. 
All of our quest for truth helped challenge us to dive deeper into the world around us, and Sean's perseverance was a sight to behold. Sawyer's gifted ability to spin a good yarn will truly be missed. Over the course of three years, these students have grown immensely. They've taken on greater and greater responsibilities and enthusiastically led their classrooms. In Costa Rica, we saw a group that was caring, strong-willed, and joyful. They approached each day with open minds and didn't shy away from anything. It's a conclusion of an era in their lives, but it is also the start of something great and exciting. Montessori said, to produce great scholars is useless unless they are also integrated, committed, respecting, loving, and caring human beings. So I want to remind all the graduates folks completing the elementary experience of Montessori to always be true to themselves and above all, always be kind and respectful of others. Your dynamism will change the world, but don't forget the grace and courtesy and the lessons that we gave you in their regard. Remember those lessons of grace and courtesy and the world will respond to you in kind. So congratulations to the
Coincidentally, some of the best years of my 11 year old, 10 months, 315 day, 10 hour, 31 minute existence on this planet. Arriving in at Child Peace in the second grade was a challenge for me. After leaving my world at my old school to join the Child Peace community, I was welcomed with, op with open arms by Rowan Hoffman. Rowan and I grew to become great friends in and outside of school. I warmly thank you, Rowan. The lower elementary was very fun for me, being in, a, in a, an awesome class with two great teachers, Claire and Josh, and being surrounded by great friends, all of which I am still in touch with today. I believe the lower elementary experience really helped shape me into who I am. Even a simple lesson on racks and tubes not only taught me a new lesson in math, but showed me how to respect and take care of the material. I used to the fullest many of the freedoms we are granted here at Child Peace. I'm sure I'm not the only person who appreciates the freedom to choose their own work and to work on it at their own pace. I love being able to explore different concepts whenever I felt I was ready. Like all freedoms, they come with responsibility. Slowing down, slowing down and being thorough can sometimes be very challenging, but it has taught me the great skill of managing my own time. Thank you, Claire and Josh. One of the best things about child peace is the mixed age groups in each class. After learning from many third graders in the lower elementary, I was ready to take a leadership role when I was their age. One of the most accomplishing parts of, the group was, of third grade was the graduation and transition into the upper ed. We were asked to pick a report subject that is very important to us and complete a big project showing off our skills. I brainstormed for days and it was on me. Deep sea fish. I spent a week straight doing a five-page report with posters in the project to present to all the third-year parents and my own. After the report, I was excited and slightly terrified to enter the offer room. I was nervous going into the upper elementary, and my parents never failed to give me the love and support I needed to overcome my fear. They continued to, uh, to support me through all my endeavors. Thank you to Mom, Dad, and Hayden. The first day of upper elementary was super exciting. I, I had arrived and instantly felt I was in the right place. My fourth grade year was spent with Katie, a very confident and funny Spanish teacher, Stephanie, a very kind and loving teacher, and Kevin, a very smart and efficient assistant. After a while of learning from these teachers and the sixth years, we had a whole new starting lineup who I'd like to thank in advance. Tony for being overwhelmingly helpful on an academic and social level, Kristen for keeping me in line, which was well needed, while teaching me and allowing me freedoms, and Kate, gracias por enseñar mi más español la clase de mamá. These people are responsible for most everything I know. I had so much fun being taught, not only by these people, but by the legendary and humorous Greg Lawrence, the crafty, gentle giant Josh, and the grandma Wiz Addison. Thanks to you guys. Next comes my favorite year, sixth grade. I love this year because of how I got to be a leader to the younger kids in the classroom. It all started with my third time at Camp Over, battling through obstacle courses, going on huge mushroom hunts, and playing half and five with some of my friends. After the team building exercises of Eagle Fern, the upper elementary always felt closer. When we came back, I had the most productive year of my life. Finishing public school curriculum and more advanced work while completing a very successful service project. I, while trying to pick a service project, I tried to pick a project that I was passionate about and really helped out the community. The fish hatchery immediately jumped out of me. I did hours of the fish hatchery with younger classmates where we had a very educational day as well as did lots of hatchery work. I will never forget that experience. After a super productive work year, my fellow sixties and I went on an incredible graduation trip to Costa Rica, where we were accompanied by an amazing tour guide named Johnny. After jungle adventures and great food all the time, we visited a shanty town and Montessori school. It sat in the middle of the city of Carpio, a very poor city that was located just outside the capital of Costa Rica, in a quarter mile from the waste dump for three and a half million people. At this Montessori school, my heart was won by an amazingly given woman named Gail. She allowed us to teach some of her students using the Montessori method. This did not only improve my Spanish, but made me reflect on myself and the world at a whole different angle. Seeing how they made so much out of so little really made me think. I know that not many sixth graders go to a Central American country for their sixth year trip, and I am so grateful for that experience. 
I'm also grateful I was able to take part in this Montessori experience, and I think I'm a more self-aware and caring person because of it. I will miss child abuse, but I am excited to continue to use the lessons I have learned wherever and whatever I do. Thank you.
I really enjoy the fact that we can work with whoever we want. For example, my story revolving with Olivia and Liliana. We bickered and fought, but we pulled through just in time. Through this experience, I've been able to work with a wide range of people. Conflicts naturally arise. Sometimes, in a Montessori, we are allowed to resolve them. I also really like the fact that we can choose big work. I have done a lot of big work, especially in the countless reports that I have going on to this day. Greg said repeatedly, if that work is challenging and you love it, there is no reason it has to end. A great example would be my first report on Egypt with Olivia. We worked really hard for a long time, but it was all worth it when we had an incredible report to present. Through this experience, I've not been able to see that the sky is the limit, and there is no end to the work that you can do. I have a lot of memories of child peace, and I have to thank a lot of people. My very first camp in my child peace experience was Camp Hancock. It was my first time away from home without my folks, so I was a bit nervous. In my cabin was all the girls from the bedroom, room, and I have to thank every last one of them for helping me come, become less shy towards the new experience. Camp meant a lot to me, and now I find I'm a lot more courageous when it comes to new experiences. But, uh, a, gr a great example of a new experience that I've had to face is the, it was the, my, with my first plan in a my first play in the row was Charlie and Chocolate Factory. After a casting snafu, I had a week to learn an area role. The play meant a lot to me, and through many experiences like it, I have more confidence on stage. This is one of the many highlights of my fourth year. Another was Eagle Burn. My first play experience in the Emperor. row. Eagle Burn was the first time Olivia and I really became friends. It was also the time when Greg ran away to deep water with a little dead fish. Whether it was mushroom hikes or Alaskan baseball, I had a really fun time, and, and, and I would go back there in a heartbeat if I could. Since that first trip this past fall, my third trip to camp, I was in a leadership role from the start. In our sixth year, we have additional responsibilities, such as our service projects. After a lot of debate, I settled on a thoroughly fulfilling green school project. I'd like to thank Dan for helping me in any way he could, and finding the time and patience to work with me. I'd also like to thank Grant for taking the time out of this day to go to my April 14th trash work. My service project was definitely one of the highlights in my sixth year. And through my experience, I've become more aware of my surroundings and making them more environmentally friendly when I can. I have saved my highlight of my sixth year for last, which is definitely Costa Rica. Last, but certainly not least of my memories was the amazing trip to Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, we did a number of things. From doing activities like going to places like the La Paz Waterfall Gardens or the park at Shantytown in the edge of San Jose, all the six years grew closer and had a great time. I'd like to thank Greg and Kristen for helping me and supporting me in any way they could, and I'd like to thank Katie and Edith for, for helping me speak Spanish. Through my Costa Rica experience, I become more aware and I think more mature. Costa Rica was my graduating gift, and I would never have gotten there without the help of my friends. Thank you, Josh, for editing, editing all my huge reports. Period. Uh, jo Allison for helping me a lot with grammar. And Greg for preparing me very well for the middle school. Great lessons taught me so much, and we're always challenging fun. Thank you. Now I'd like to thank my mom and Dave for helping me with <laughs> for helping me and that, sorry, for all the help and support they've given me. And also for giving me the chance to go to the school. And also thank my dad for helping me when I need the most. My dad died when I was in second grade. During his first two years in elementary, I was nervous. He was always ready to give me advice when I needed it. I miss him very much. I'd like to thank all my family, Connor, Sophia, Sabine, and Sasha, Mom and Dave, again, for helping me and never letting me keep in the past. Last but not least, I'd like to thank Chuck and some staff for giving me the education of the early world Thank you.
six years. Being here has been a great experience for me. My first memory is in Florida. One of my favorite things to do was get out of the bank game with my friend Liam Messenger. <coughs> we would sit on the rug and pretend we were buying games from each other. My teacher in first grade was Peter Jensen. He was an amazing teacher and helped me a lot with being acquainted with the school. My teacher for the rest of Laura was Samantha Gardrush. She helped me by teaching me that your responsibility isn't just being able to do whatever you want, to making yourself do the things you need to do. When I was in Laura, I sometimes had trouble respecting others. I would lose the freedom to sit where I wanted. She never wavered, and I needed the consistency. I would like to thank both Samantha and Peter for being amazing teachers and helping me realize who I really am. One of the great things that I really about, like about Montessori is that not only do you learn academics, but you learn life skills as well, such as washing a table, tying your shoes, and keeping a shelf clean over a period of time. I think that is one of the many reasons child is set apart from other schools. We are truly citizens in our own community. At the end of my third year at Child Peace, I was both excited and nervous. I was excited that I was in third grade and about to, move, about to graduate from Laura. But I was nervous to be moving up to Upper Rock. Look at it from a third grade perspective. Greg was a big guy with an even bigger voice. We could hear him in our classroom some afternoons. When I started in Upper Rock, I realized that Greg was a genuinely happy guy most of the time. He also emphasized working well with others. I needed this as well. My other teachers, Josh the Renaissance Man, and Katie, an incredibly enthusiastic Spanish teacher, were great. Spanish lessons were amazing for me, not only to learn the language, but to learn the Mexican traditions and holidays, too. Gracias. I would also like to thank my other Spanish teacher, Aviva, who was somewhat calmer, but still an equally brilliant Spanish teacher. Being in Upper was a great experience for me. It taught me how to be a leader. Starting out as a nine-year-old, a nine-year-old, and ending now as a 12-year-old is a big part of that great experience. As a fourth grader, you model the maturity shown by the sixth grade. As you grew in age and wisdom, you were more and more responsible. Finally, in my last year, I assumed the leadership role and got to do things like go to Costa Rica and do community service projects. Another responsibility in sixth grade was PSC, or State Standard. PSC was a great experience for me because I had to exercise the ability to say to myself, no, you can't do that right now, you have to finish this. For one, to put my education in my hands, and it helped me gain the maturity and need to be a leader in my classroom. Another thing that helped me gain maturity was the, club, was the trip to Costa Rica. One of my favorite memories from the trip was when we were all sitting in Costa Rica airport waiting for our flight. We were all eating cinnamon rolls from cinnamon. Greg made Peter give this to me because he claimed he could see him vibrating because of the sugar. We were able to do whatever we wanted in the airports as long as we had a partner. I had been giving freedom before, but not like this. We had to handle our own money and plane tickets. I got a taste of, being, of what being an adult was like. While we were there, we did a lot of fun things, but one that really made a difference to me was our visit to the shanty town, Macarpia. Macarpia was built by Nicaraguan refugees who came to Costa Rica in search of a better life. We built bunk beds and helped out at the Montessori school. The, quarter of the, the coordinator of these projects was a lady named Gail. She was amazing in that she really cared about everyone in the town. She wanted to give them all a better life. The kids in the Montessori school were really cute. We read to them and helped them with their work in the classroom. This experience has taught me not to take what I have for granted. I would now like to thank Sue Quaker and all the staff for keeping the school running smoothly. I was very lucky to be here. I would also like to thank my teacher, Greg, for guiding and teaching me throughout my three years of Upper Up and my three years of Lower Up as well. I would like to thank the rest of my friends for being there for me throughout my six years at Child Base. I would also like to thank my cousin Sean for always being there for me and helping me with my work and with my social work. Lastly, I would like to thank my parents for always being there for me, especially after a bad day at school. I don't know where I would be with that. Thank you. Let us squeeze the oranges and maybe two glasses, and we give one to the teacher who got to drink the other one. 
I would like to thank Michelle, Becca, and Susan Harris for teaching me my children's last year. One of my favorite things about Montessori is that I can excel and learn more about what I'm interested in. I can challenge myself by asking for different lessons in order for me to learn new things and gain new knowledge. <coughs> when I finish a lesson with my teacher, they can not have to teach me the next lesson I ask for. We don't just learn school knowledge, but we learn skills that we can use in life. An example, organizing my work and then doing my time responsibly. With a large amount of freedom, comes great responsibility. We all have so much trust from the teachers, it's important for me not to abuse the privileges. Finishing follow-ups and asking for lessons for things I got really good at. I would like to thank Greg Barnes for being a great teacher and teaching me so much. Josh Crew for making really cool projects with us. Alex and Riley for always being there to edit our reports. And everyone else who helped me in the other elementary. We have the freedom to choose our work and how we spend our time. This by itself teaches us so much. I was not capable of the concentration on the large work I do now. Lots of trial and error has helped me. For my service project, I chose Ruby Community Electronic Recycling Center at this um, as a place to help my community. At Ruby, we took apart broken and all the electronics. I chose this project because I enjoyed taking the electronics apart. And when I heard that some of the parts of the computer end up in a landfill and poison the soil, and making it impossible for plants ever to grow there, I, I knew that I wanted to help. I'd like to thank all the people who made it possible for me to volunteer. Probably the most exciting event this year was going to Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, we needed for Spanish a lot. Every morning we would have a two-hour Spanish lesson, and they usually were fun. In the afternoon, we would have a cultural experience we need to Costa Rica. One day we went to a shanty town. It was sad to see all the poverty the residents were living in. We filled bunk beds for the families, and it felt good to help out the needy. We also went ziplining one day. The zip line. There was one zip line that was so long and steep, it was really fun because it was high above the ground. I would like to thank Katie Bear for preparing me in Spanish for Costa Rica. This my more sorry experience has made me more responsible, mature, mature, and comfortable in the leadership role. Lastly, I'd like to thank my parents and sisters for always loving and supporting me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amy Barnacle. I'm a sixth year in the hot form room, and I've been at Child Peace for seven years. My oldest memory of Child Peace was when I first visited the children's house. None of the students were there, but Stephanie gave me a great lesson. Then I remember going into the, well, the children's house. I remember that I loved to make coffee for the teachers. I think that I loved it because I could work with the little coffee presses and pretend to be working at a coffee shop. I would like to thank my children's house teachers, Stephanie, Anna, and Dana, for teaching me a lot and being really nice. After I graduated from the children's house, I moved to the murder room. My teacher was Claire. She was so great and she loved what she was teaching. I really appreciated that. I remember once Miranda and I made these coconut instruments for our class auction project. They were really cool. I would like to thank Claire, Josh, and Jen, my lower L teachers, for being really great and making my lower L year special. special. After I graduated from the lower L, I moved into the hot corner. I was really looking forward to the upper L. I would like to thank all my upper L teachers, especially Kristen and Stephanie, for being really great and making my upper L experience wonderful. Every year, the upper L goes to two different camps. One of them is Camp Eagleford. At camp, we go mushroom hunting and play really fun games. But my favorite part is when we have the campfires at Josh and Gregory. We sing awesome songs and we share our brown bag skits. I would like to thank Josh for making all of these campfires special. In sixth grade, we get to go on a trip to Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, we visited La Carpio, a shanty town built by the Nicaraguan refugees. It was really sad to see the tiny shacks that the people were living in. One, day, one time, we got to work at the Montessori School for the Kids. The woman, Gail, who was running it, is amazing. She started the school, she's trained residents of the community to be teachers, and has a passion 
for improving everyone's lives. She's also started a health clinic that has seen more than 10,000 patients in the past three years. She showed us all the murals that are painted around the town to remind everybody that's living there not to give up hope. I would like to thank Sue and everyone in the office for running our school and allowing great experiences like this to me. Every year, the Upper L puts on a play at Field Day. This is when I realized that I love theater. In fourth grade, I was cast as the backup for Mrs. Blue. From then on, theater has been something I've loved and I'm told I'm good at. I feel like child peace has given me so many opportunities to explore. We learn who we are and what we love to do. We are given so many avenues to discover. Now I feel more comfortable on stage and off. I would like to thank Greg and Kristen for helping me explore who I really am. In sixth grade, we get to choose a service project. I chose to volunteer for Blanche House. The Blanche House is an organization that serves food to homeless people. I love volunteering there because it makes me feel like I'm giving back. I feel so fortunate that it's my responsibility to give back. I feel so lucky to be able to go to such a great school, and I'd like to thank my mom and dad for being so kind, supportive, and sending me here. My brother Jack is graduating today, too. I suppose I should thank him. Thank you. I couldn't believe 
I would also like to thank the big and mighty Josh Pruitt for being a friend and a wonderful mentor. Along with them, I thank Katie Bear, Allison Riley, Kristen Kelly, Tony Bertaccini, Wendy, I really am Lynn for being wonderful teachers. My wonderful parents for being, always being there for me and always understanding my struggles. My friends Oliver, Jordan, Rowan, Carson, Sawyer, Jackson, Alden, and Jack are definitely worth my thanks as well. Last but not least, I would like to thank the Child Peace Community and or Child Peace and its community for being a wonderful school and helping me find myself and all that I have to offer this world. I will miss this place. Thank you. Sorry, it was dark and rainy. 
inside is all warm. It made me feel very safe. I think that's one of the things that's so special about the Montessori, the feeling that you belong and that you are safe. I'd like to thank my lower elementary teachers, Sora, Gordon, and Lily, for being there and teaching me a lot. After I graduated from lower L, I moved to upper elementary. One of the things that I found on the story is the mixed ages. In the beginning of the three years, there were all these older students willing to help and encourage me. As I grew older, I became one of those helpers. I remember how big this experience looked to me when I was a third grader, and now I'm one of them. In the large room, the oldest students are asking me often, especially when we have kids. In the cabin, the student wants to be in charge. If any issues or conflicts came up, the grade expected us to solve them peacefully. In the large room, the old, we go to Eagle Fair every year. One thing I really liked there was the brown bag skins. Our cabin was given a brown paper bag that had the items to use in our skin. We also had a moral to base the skin on. Then we performed another campfire. Josh sings a song with his booming, songs with his booming voice. He's been very hard. I would like to thank him for being a great assistant. He's been very helpful and always willing to add something for you. Alice is nervous this year, and she's been very helpful and fun. Thank you, Alice. Another trip that I went on this year is the sixth year trip to Costa Rica. One of the things that we did when we were there was visit La Carpio. La Carpio is a shanty town built by Nicaraguan refugees. It really opened my eyes and showed me how fortunate I am in life. One of the things that we did there was build bunk beds so that the kids would have to sleep on the floor. We took the pieces of the bunk beds to houses and put them together. The next day we helped out at the Montessori school. I would like to thank Kristen for helping me out, Katie for preparing me for Costa Rica, and being a great Spanish teacher, and Ava for coming with us to Costa Rica. Tomorrow, on the last day of school, we'll have field day. We will play lots of games. One of my favorites is the water balloon toss. You toss the water balloon back and forth with your partner and try not to let it drop. The morning usually ends with the leftover water balloons being thrown at gray. Great game the game with water balloons that will not get thrown at gray who helps to discourage you. <laughs> After all the games and lunch, we'll have the play. This year, we're performing at Grand Night for Hans Christian Anderson. The play is very fun, and we've all had a good time preparing it. Two very good parts of the sixth grade graduation requirements have been BSC and service projects. BSC stands for Public Street Curriculum. This is all of the things staff we need to know to be a citizen in Oregon. I had to go through and make sure I knew everything. If I didn't, I had a lesson on it from Greg or did a project to that. I'd like to thank Greg for helping me finish BSC and also for being such a great teacher. In the past few years, you've taught me so much and made learning very fun. You've helped me work at my own pace and encouraged me to explore. Thank you. We also did community service and larger service projects. In school, we had the chance to help out the children's house and lower elementary by being reading letters. Outside of school, each six year is responsible for their own year long service project. I organized a talent show. For my service project, I organized a talent show that collected food for the Oregon community. It was just a success. They felt really good to help out the community. Child Peace has been an amazing experience for me. In my nine years here, I have become a better leader, more responsible, and I am now able to finish projects on time. I have learned how to teach by helping my friends. I love everything my story has taught me, and I am excited to be returning to the next year. Finally, I would like to thank my family. I would like to thank my brother and sisters for being really fun. I would like to thank my parents for being kind of support. You are always there for me and will help. to move on to elementary, 
Thank you, Michelle, for being such a great teacher and friend. I moved on to the Juniper Room. In Lower Up, as much as it was about the work, it was about how I was treating others. Greg likes to say that Montessori is a social learning environment. I think this refers to all of the experimentation we do as we grow up. I had a lot to learn. Thank you, Samantha and Adam, for being such great teachers. Next came the Upper Up. It's the biggest learning experience I've been through yet, both socially and academically. This experience started out when I visited in third grade. I was hosted by my good friend, Oakwad, and a sixth year named Fiona Hannon. I was really happy because I really looked up to Fiona at the time. I was amazed at how the upper all functioned. Everything had a reason and everyone had a purpose. In fourth grade, I was really into math. I loved working with my friends and Greg was the right teacher for me. Everything was new. I felt like I had way too much to learn, but eventually it got easier. One new thing for me was the freedoms and responsibilities. The class all together came up with the freedoms they would like to have and the responsibilities they come with. These freedoms for kids my age are unique in a school environment. This last year was a huge year for me. Sixth grade was a challenging, always interesting, and exciting experience. I've been doing a service project since November at Marquis at Adam Hills. Marquis is a home for people with memory loss. I socialize with the people there from 1.30 to 3 o'clock each visit. At times, it was hard to communicate because Alzheimer's can make some days very challenging for them. But other times, the disease was not, wasn't as evident, and they could carry on the discussion. Their life experiences were very fun to hear about. I will miss Pearl, Alice, Shirley, Eleanor, and all of my gals there. Graduating from the lecture requires you to be knowledgeable of the state standards for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. It was not very hard for me, but my confidence in some sections has grown immensely. My last, most extraordinary memory in the Afro was going to Costa Rica. Costa Rica was so fun, and I loved spending time with my fellow sixth graders. My favorite part was going and volunteering in a shanty town called La Carpio. La Carpio is a town sheltering 34,000 people, most of which migrated from the terrible conditions in Nicaragua. It made me, it made me realize how much I have. It really motivates me to give back to my community and help others. My nine years of Child Peace Montessori were special because I learned so much and grew as a person. Montessori has made me a leader, a better problem solver, and taught me how to respect my surroundings. I'm happy to be continuing my journey in Metro with many of my friends. Before I finish, I have a few more people to thank. I would like to thank my friends for always being there. I would like to thank Kristen for being a helpful teacher. I would like to thank Allison for joining our class and being so kind. I would like to thank Josh for being a great assistant and helping me with all my project ideas. Thank you, Greg, for being such a fabulous teacher and for helping me be the person I am today. I'd like to thank Katie for preparing me for Costa Rica. I'd like to thank my mentor, Amanda, for helping me at Marquis. I'd like to thank Sue for leading us and keeping the school together. And last but not least, I'd like to thank my family for being so supportive of me and being there when I need it. Thank you. My name is Carson Russell, and I am a graduating sixth year in the large room. What I love about Child Peace Montessori is the freedom and responsibility we have every day in the classroom. For example, being able to choose who you want to work with and what you want to work on. Throughout all my six years of learning from teachers and friends at Child Peace, I have gained many things in life, making me an honest, confident, responsible, and a more mature young man. With so many memories at Child Peace, they are uncountable, so I am only going to express a few. Lower up, we learned many things, and I most enjoyed working on big projects with my friends. I hope you learned more because I was working on the things that most interested me. I learned a lot about dinosaurs, water buffaloes, bull sharks, garter snakes, and many other important academic subjects. Another one of my favorite parts in Lower L was my teacher, teacher Sorrel's enthusiastic universe stories and other cool science lessons. One of my favorite memories was when my mom packed me a huge sandwich that was over a foot long, and when I was about to take a bite out of it, Gordon took a quick snapshot of me. It turned out to be the picture they used of me for our class scrapbook on the front page. I'd like to thank Sorrel for being a great teacher and for, for preparing me for the upper L. Moving to the upper L was a whole different thing for me. 
new materials, older and more mature individuals, cool new animals, and red. It felt different with all the new teachers and people, but I liked the difference. It was much more challenging, and I would like to thank Greg for being the most helpful and understanding teacher I could ever have. One of the cool things about Chow is the mixed grade classrooms, which enables the older kids in the class to help and encourage the younger ones. The outdoor schools we had twice a year in the upper L have been amazing. Every year, we would go to Camp Eagle Burn in early October to learn about nurse logs, decomposition, riverbeds, and many other cool things. We played tons of games and had lots of fun. My favorite part was when we sung loud campfire songs with Joshua Lee, or when we went on the really fun forest ropes courses with a bunch of cool obstacles. I'd like to thank Josh for making school really fun and only being available. The other camps we went to were OPI, Hancock, and Camp Rue. We played Predator Prey, Dissected Sharks, Went Canoeing, and lots more. In my sixth year at Chowkies, I buckled down with academics and graduation requirements. There was PSC, service projects, and most importantly, leadership of classroom. I would like to thank all of my fellow sixth graders for helping me finish PSC and for being great friends. Thank you. I'd like to thank Chris for being a fantastic tutor and for helping me out with all of my preparations. In my last year of child piece, I chose beach cleanup for my service project. I thought it was terrible that so much trash ends up on the beach, ruining the environment, and sometimes even killing animals. I had my beach cleanup in early April. Everyone who came filled up big garbage bags full of trash and while getting soaked and drenched with rain. In sixth grade, we had a graduation trip to Costa Rica for a week to advance our Spanish and have fun. When we got to a shanty town, we were warmly greeted by the Montessori school owner, Gail. She served us a hot traditional meal of uh, rice and beans, or was it uh, beans and rice? When our stomachs were full and we were satisfied, Gail had us sit down. She told us the story of how all the people had arrived there. She told us that they were mostly Nicaraguan refugees forced to move there because of the even harsher conditions in Nicaragua. It was a sad story, and we were glad to help. We made bunk beds and helped the kids in the Montessori school. I will never forget the experience for the rest of my life. Lastly, I would like to thank my parents and brother for helping me out with everything in life and always encouraging me. Thank you, Mom, Dad, and Finn. I love you. I think that living there definitely changed me and helped shape who I am today. 
After fourth grade, my family and I returned to Portland for fifth grade. It was one of my favorite years of Montessori, with camps Eagle Burn and Hancock, the winter celebration, the end of your play, and all of the projects and work I did during the year. But probably the best thing about the year was my teachers, Kristen, Tony, and Katie, who helped me every day with every subject. <clears throat> the play that year was my favorite yet. It was the Robin Hood class, the story of a crime in four different Robin Hoods, each with a separate personality, who were all suspects. Because I was gone for my fourth year, it was the first time I had ever acted on stage in front of an audience. It was a great experience. I think that it is good to be able to perform, to perform in front of people, whether you're singing, acting, or playing an instrument. One of my greatest experiences of my time at Child Peace was my sixth grade trip to Costa Rica. There, all the sixth graders learned about the native plants and animals. We went to local restaurants in San Jose, the capital, and took two hour Spanish immersion classes every morning. Despite all this, my favorite time all there was when we visited the shanty town of Nicaragua refugees. La Carpio was the name of the city, located in a quarter of a mile from the dump of San Jose. There we built bunk beds and taught at the local Montessori school, funded by a woman named Gip, who has devoted her life to helping the people of Nicaragua who have emigrated to Costa Rica. We each partnered up with a little preschooler and spent over an hour working with them using the Montessori method. It not only helped everyone Spanish, but was clearly appreciated by the children. Afterwards, we performed songs and a puppet show for them in Spanish. I feel that one of the greatest things about sixth grade is the service project we get to meet. I would like to thank Gregory Lawrence for supporting me with not only my service project, but everything I need help or guidance on. For my service project, I fed dinner to the homeless. I didn't just show up and do the work, though. I had to gather nearly $300 worth of donations from local grocery stores. This project required a lot of work, but my parents, brothers, and friends Jordan Tom, Sawyer Howitt, Rowan Hoffman, Carson Russell, and Alex Horn and were always very supportive of, supportive of me and helped me a lot. I'm glad to have people who will always be there for me. I would like to thank my family for supporting me and guiding me my whole life. I have had a great experience here at Child Peace, and I'm looking forward to the years to come. In all my years of Child Peace, I have been witness to great things and had many memories, and I would like to share some with you. Some of the great things that I love about this school are the amazing freedoms. The freedom to sit where you want, to sit with who you want, to choose your work, and to go farther with your work. For example, in fourth grade, I made a Roman timeline with Jack Bremer and Quinn Benson. But the more we learned, the bigger it got, and eventually it spanned 25 feet with diagrams, maps, drawings, and tons of information on the culture of Rome. I was extremely proud of that work, and I love that no one told us when to stop. A very special thing about this school is that you don't just learn academics here, you also learn life skills. You learn how to solve conflicts, be more responsible, more mature, and confident. I think I am a more appreciative and well-rounded person because of it. My first report was a three-page report on the Norwegian Vikings with my friend Carson Russell. I can still remember the paintings of grown men in red capes and horn helmets. My first camp was Hancock Field Station in the John Day Fossil Beds. I was in first grade, and it really helped me with my independence and my relationship with my class and friends. I really enjoyed my time in the lower L, and I owe my thanks to my friends, my classmates, and my teachers. Thank you. Moving up to the upper L was a huge thing for me. I greatly enjoyed the new freedom and responsibilities. I embraced the new and challenging work. My teachers in my fourth grade year were Stephanie and Kevin. I also enjoyed the new Spanish lessons and work taught by the awesome Spanish teacher, Katie Gracias. Two new adults, Kristen Kelly and Tony Bertuccini, came last year. Kristen quickly took the place of Stephanie and became a great teacher, sharing her knowledge with us and inspiring us to learn more about every subject. 
She has taught me for most of my time in the upper row with patience, creativity, and humor. Thank you. As for Tony, he has not only been a great assistant, but he has been an understanding, fun, and helpful person to be around. Thank you. We also got all of her back from a year-long stay in Uray, Colorado. I was so happy. I entered the sixth grade ready for a challenge. I began doing more fun and difficult work and quickly got used to the responsibility of being an older student. One of the great things about going into sixth grade is that you were once a fourth grader and you know how it feels to be the youngest student. One of the ways to help with being a leader is Camp Eagle Park. And it, it happens in the beginning of every year. It is located in Estacada, Oregon, and the time we are there, it is perfect for mushroom hunting. We play games, perform skits, have campfires, and generally have a great time. My favorite part is the ropes course. It is a team building challenge that is held above ground. The entire time you are on it, you are working together and having a great time. When you come back from camp, you feel you have gotten closer to your class and your community. It is always a great way to begin the year. Back at school, the sixth graders and I did the most work we have ever done in our lives, finishing PSC and diligently working on our Espanol. We were rewarded for our hard work with a trip to Costa Rica. We left the USA on May 7th at midnight for a week-long stay in Central America. We arrived at the airport and were quickly welcomed by our amazing drive guide, John. He took us to our hotel and we settled into our rooms. On the trip, we woke up every day to a two-hour-long Spanish lesson, class and then a soccer game. Afterwards, we had lunch and went to a very cool place. Whether it was the local market, having a treasure hunt, going to La Paz Waterfall Gardens, zip lining, or visiting a 34,000-person shanty town, where we worked with the local children and built bunk beds for the families there. On two of the afternoons, we visited a shanty town named Lucarpio, located a 15-minute drive away from Paraguay, where we stayed. In Lucarpio, we worked with local children at the Montessori School. We partnered up and worked with the children using the Montessori methods. Afterwards, we gathered and shared songs and group games. The next day, we built bunk beds for the local families so their kids didn't have to sleep on the dirt floor. It was a humbling experience, and it made me appreciate all that I had. The change of perspective and how I learned to look at the world. I really had an amazing time here at Child Peace, and I owe my thanks to my parents for supporting me through my 12 years of life, my brother for being a great little brother and an awesome friend. My family is always fun and loving. And lastly, Lynn and Wendy for teaching me during my children's house experience. Sorrel, Gordon, and Melly for teaching me during my lower out. And Kristen, Stephanie, Tony, Greg, Josh, Allison, and Katie for teaching me during my time in the upper out. Thank you.
you can make it exciting for people to look at. Sometimes this inspires them to dig deeper or get the whole lesson you received from Kristen or Greg. I started school I started school at Chalkies in the fall of my fifth grade year. I was so nervous but also excited. I made great new friends, which I still have today, and had many lessons, and I loved everything about it. The first report I did was on telescopes with Katina and Mason. A little bit into the year, Stephanie had to leave, so Kristen stepped in and has been our amazing offer and guide ever since then. With the addition of Tony and Katie, the classroom has more smoothly in it than ever. Thank you. This year, or as a sixth year, I had responsibilities. I had a service project to start and a classroom full of little fourth grades looking up to me and following my lead. This year, the sixth years had the privilege to do our own individual service projects. The service projects everyone came for were incredible. We were also anxious to talk about what we had accomplished in the time we had to help out our community. My service project was very special to me. I got to help out some people um, under, hospice, uh, under Serenity Hospice Care. Serenity Hospice Care is an organization that takes care of terminally ill people. I love what this organization is doing. Caring for those who can't care for themselves and don't have anyone else to turn to. Two projects I created were making lap blankets and origami paper crates. The crane symbolized hope, and for me, I felt the community. Another highlight of my sixth grade year was our week long trip to Costa Rica. Costa Rica is such a beautiful place. There, there were so many, sorry, there were so many activities for us to do. My favorites were visiting La Paz Waterfall Gardens and helping out in the backfield and zip lining. On the second day, we went to La Paz Waterfall Gardens where we saw some of Costa Rica's native plants and animals. The next day, we visited La Carpia a very poor shanty town populated with Nicaraguan refugees. Their houses are just scraps of metal nailed together without any beds. So as a community service for the people, we built bunk beds for those who, for those children who were safe on the floor. We carried the tools and supplies down to the houses and then assembled the bunk beds and provided mattresses. We also got to help out in the Montessori school. The school was run by an amazing woman named Gail. Gail was so passionate about what she was doing for these children and their mothers and made me want to come back every day and help. My last two years at Chalky's Montessori have been unforgettable. I believe this experience has made me a more responsible, independent, and courageous person. I feel so lucky to have gotten the opportunity to go to this school. Thank you so much to all of my teachers for supporting me and teaching me all I need to know and more. Also, thank you to my family for supporting me in each and every way. Thank you. 
on a mobile to get to the class. It is almost complete and it is beautiful. My oldest memory of child piece is my first day in children's house in the old building when I met my teachers, Josh and Lisa. I was so scared when my mom walked me in, I would, um, Josh was waiting at the door to greet me. I was so scared of him because he was about 23 times bigger than me. He had to sit down in one of the little chairs so that he could be at my eye level. Um, Josh moved on to the lower elementary and I joined that class in first grade. He left me for one year in third grade to work with Greg. Luckily, I would follow him when I joined the larger for the last three years. I would like to thank Josh and Lisa for making my time here, at, um, making me comfortable in my first Montessori environment. Josh has been so helpful and kind. I don't know why he left me that one year, but I forget that. Lower up was a big, big part of my time here at Child Peace. I was in the middle room with Claire. I learned a lot about being friends with more people and not letting people boss me around just because I was smaller than that. I would like to thank Claire for teaching me for those three years. Another thing that I love about Child Peace is going camping with my class. One of my favorite camps that I have been to is Camp Eagleford. It is where we go from the beginning of the year to get to know each other. My favorite part about Eagleford was the ropes course. I am just advantage because I have shorter arms and legs than everybody else, but it's still fun. My favorite experience of the whole year was definitely the Street Camp. It was the most beautiful place I have ever been. One of my favorite things that we did there was go was go um, to La Paz Waterfall Gardens. We saw so many amazing animals and things. My favorite thing that we saw there were the two camps. I got to hold one, and surprisingly, its claws didn't hurt. Um, the gardens displayed many amazing animals and plants in their natural habitats. I would like to thank Katie for preparing me for Costa Rica and being an amazing Spanish teacher. Thank you. Last but not least, I have my service project. It is called Seeds of Life. It helps children in South Africa who are affected or infected with HIV and AIDS. I have been collecting hats and art supplies and change. I have gotten so many donations. I would like to thank everyone who donated to my service project, my mentor Becky for helping me start it, and my the six years and Greg for being so supportive of me. Greg has been an amazing teacher for these past three years. I am glad that I will be able to see him next year. Allison joined us this year and has helped out in many ways. Thank you both. Now I have two very special thank yous. First, I would like to thank my, um, my pre preschool teacher, Natalie, for telling my parents that I was a Montessori kid. Because if she hadn't, I would not have been able to have this experience. And next, I'd like to thank my parents for being so supportive of me and helping me with everything. Thank you. I would say that I'm going to miss this school very much, but I'm glad that I don't have to. I will be continuing to make your mom's work.
Oliver Rich. Jack Barnacle. Annie Barnacle. Eleanor Kent. Lily O'Brien. Peter Newland. Katie Blickenstaff. Sophia McDermott. Carson Russell.